Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a first impressions, kind of on like a one brand sort of thing. And that is going to be on all of my new Physicians Formula stuff. So um, for those of you who don't have an Instagram, uh, Chance decided to surprise me with a whole bunch of new makeup and it's all Physicians Formula. For those of you who don't know, Physicians Formula is like super, super expensive, um, high-end drugstore makeup. And um, yeah, so he got me four things and I'm gonna be kind of trying them out for the first time today and giving my first impressions and review and see how they apply on my face, which is why I don't have any makeup on. So the first thing I'm gonna be trying out is this, really, I'm really excited about this, is the foundation. And this is the Physicians Formula Touch of Glow Foundation Nude Wear. So it just looks like that. The packaging is absolutely adorable. It just looks so cute. It kind of has like, that, I don't know, it just looks very high-end with that like texture on it. And then the bottle just has like a bow and then it also comes with a cute little brush as well. And this is supposedly a new product because I've never heard of it and it says new on the packaging. Um, but yeah, the packaging is super cute. And then the next thing I'm gonna be doing is the um, new Physicians Formula Nude Wear Touch of Glow Palette, which just looks like this. And it's a highlighter, blush, powder, and bronzer. Um, so it's like this little quad right here and the packaging matches the foundation as well with the cute little bows. So really excited about that. And then um, I also got a bronzer, which is the City Glow Daily Defense Bronzer. So it just looks like that as well. And then the very last product that I'm gonna be doing is a mascara in this packaging for this mascara is amazing. This is the Physicians Formula Sexy Booster Cat Eye Collection Mascara. And here's what the bottle looks like. So really, really excited about these products today. And we're just gonna kind of jump right into it because this is gonna be a little bit of a longer video because I do have so many uh, products. So yeah, um, I'm going to start with foundation first. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. Just gonna take it out of the packaging like so. Put burgundy extensions in today, like with my black and I don't know if, I don't know if I like it. I don't know, looks too much. I don't know, it's really weird. Okay, so here's what the foundation bottle looks like right here. It's a pretty good sized bottle. Um, I don't know exactly how much this was because I didn't purchase it. Yeah, it looks really nice, really, really nice bottle, good quality. Um, and he actually got the right shade for me. This is in light medium, so props to him for getting the correct shade. And then also comes with this cute little uh, brush as well, which also matches. I don't know if I will be using this for foundation. This is more kind of like an under eye concealer brush in my opinion. Okay, so basically what this foundation is supposed to do is it is a weightless fluid foundation, dresses the skin in an illuminating veil of radiance, delivering just the right amount of coverage while remaining virtually undetectable on the skin. So it's supposed to give you good enough coverage, but it's not supposed to feel like you're wearing a heavy duty foundation. So um, this would probably be really good for work because I don't obviously wanna put on a heavy, heavy mask on all day while I'm working. So maybe this would be a good option for me while I am working. So really, really excited to try this. So it's weightless, it's nude, and it gives a luminous glow. So we'll have to see how this looks because I'm not one who is very opt to dewy skin. So um, we'll have to see how this looks. So um, I'm first gonna just clip my hair back just to get it out of the way. And I'm just gonna be using this little skeleton hand clip. Uh, for those of you who are going to ask, because I always get questions every time I use it, this is from rosegale.com, but you can also find them on eBay as well. So I'm just gonna take my hair and just brush it, pull it back. So I just applied a little bit of my moisturizer. This is just the Garnier Moisture Rescue, um, just to kind of moisturize my skin because I washed it this morning, so it's feeling kind of dry a little bit. So I just applied a little bit of that and I'm just gonna give that a minute to sink into my skin. Okay, so now I'm just going to get ready to apply the foundation. So it says to shake it up really, really well before you apply it. And then it says to apply the foundation directly onto the brush and then apply it to your face. That's not how I like to apply foundation and I feel like this brush is like too small to do my entire face with like an, an even coverage. So I'm just gonna take it on the back of the cap, just do one pump, um, dot it on my face, and then I'm just gonna use a damp beauty blender to blend that out because I will never use this brush as a full entire foundation brush because like even for my face, this is just really, really small. So um, 
I'm just gonna do it how I always do it. Okay, so here is what the pump looks like. So it's just a really nice easy pump and I'm just gonna give it one full pump. So like that. Um, it looks to be the right color. So let's go ahead and just dot this all over my face. It smells really, really good. And I didn't apply any primer on my face either because every time I do foundation first impressions, people always bitch and complain when I use a primer. So I didn't use one today. Um, so y'all can chill. <laughs> okay, so now I have this all dotted all over my face and I look absolutely ridiculous. Now I'm just going to simply just take my beauty blender and start blending this into my skin. And I didn't put on any concealer or anything, just some moisturizer. It doesn't even feel like I'm blending anything out like it's so like it just feels like I'm tapping a wet beauty blender onto my face like it doesn't feel like I have any foundation on it's kind of like the uh, Maybelline fit me just feels really really lightweight and it's very very light coverage because as you can see um, I obviously do have quite a bit of acne and you can still see it like here and then there and then over here and I'm someone who really likes full coverage because I do have acne like I'm not one of those people who has clear skin okay so here is just what one layer of foundation looks like on the skin I'm really really glad I did not use a primer with this because it is it's so um, what's the word I'm looking for like it's so refreshing on the skin like I feel like you don't need a primer um, as you can see it does have a bit of a definite illuminating glow on it um, which is something I'm not usually used to I usually always go for a matte because I am a very oily person um, and it's very very light 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 coverage so um, I think I'm gonna do another pump just to see how buildable it is but um, yeah here's just one layer all blended out onto my skin so again I'm just gonna take one more pump like that and just take a little bit and just start dotting it onto my face again where I want a little bit more coverage. And then I'm going to go back in and blend all of that out again. And blend out this kind of a mini second layer. Props to Chance for getting the correct color because the color matches absolutely perfectly. Okay, and here is what the second layer looks like on the skin. Um, it is a little bit more full coverage. I wouldn't say this is full coverage at all. I would say this is a light to medium coverage. Um, again, it didn't really feel cakey going on with the second layer. Okay, so here's kind of what my face looks like um, as a whole, just kind of far away, and then I'll show you an up-close view. Um, but yeah, here's what it looks like. As you can see, it looks like, it, this would be a really good summer foundation, I think. So, kind of perfect timing for this video because summer is coming up. Um, yeah, it feels really nice, and as you can see, it gives a really nice glow to your face. So, this is going to be interesting to see how this will turn out um, throughout the rest of the day. But yeah, here's kind of what my face looks like as a whole, and then here is a close-up view of... Um, the foundation. This is only two layers of it with no concealer and no primer. Okay, so as you can see, you can obviously still see a couple of my blemishes peeking through. Um, that's to be expected. This is not, I don't think this is a very high coverage foundation, which is fine. Um, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to apply a little bit of concealer just to cover these up because I don't want them showing, obviously. So yeah, I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer, touch these babies up, and then I will be right back in just a second. Okay, one thing I noticed is that it was very, very difficult to blend out that concealer over top of the foundation. So I don't know if that has anything to do with the foundation or, or what, because that was not an easy time. So now my concealer and foundation is done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go off camera and do my eyebrows. I don't have a Physician's Formula eyebrow pencil, so I'm just going to use my NYC one and just fill in my eyebrows, and then I'll be back in just a minute. So from no eyebrows to eyebrows. So, um, yep, I just filled in my eyebrows just like normal. Um, I actually 
And I don't normally do this. I'm kind of doing what um, Shan XO does because I find it helpful when she does her foundation reviews. Is I actually took a picture on my camera in flash to see what the foundation looks like um, with flash because it is more of a dewy foundation. So I was kind of curious to see what it would look like. And now I'm just going to do what I always do when I wear a foundation. I'm just going to do a little bit of powder. I'm just going to be doing some loose powder by CoverGirl. This is, um, I don't know exactly what kind of powder this is. All I know is it's that it's a loose powder and it's by CoverGirl. And I'm just going to be putting a little bit of that onto my skin just to kind of set everything in place for the day with just a little uh, kabuki brush from Claire. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this on my brush, tap it off, and just pat. to move on to these two things later so we're going to do the bronzer and the highlighting quad uh, later and now I'm going to move on to the mascara because I'm just dying to try this so this mascara supposedly it's new and this is the sexy booster cat eye collection mascara so it's supposed to give you sexy cat eyes for ultra dramatic volume intensely black exaggerated winged effect brush so First off, can we just take a minute to just appreciate this packaging? Like, look at this mascara bottle. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? It's like velvet to the touch and then it has this cute little charm on it. Oh my god, it's absolutely adorable. Um, even when I do run out of this mascara, I think I'm just honestly going to keep the bottle because the bottle is just, it's phenomenal. It's like a decoration. So First, I'll go ahead and show you what the brush looks like. And then here is what the brush looks like. So there's what the mascara wand looks like. So it has kind of like a really, really big brush. So we'll have that'll be interesting to see how that works. And then it kind of had tapers down at the end. So that would be really good for getting down here and then up in the little corner. So yeah, that's what the brush looks like. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so we can get started on the mascara. Okay, so there's my lashes curled, and we're super excited to try this, so... Here we go! So here's kind of one mini coat on this eye with just one coat of this mascara. Uh, the brush looks a lot bigger than it feels on your eye. So this looks a little bit intimidating, but when you're actually using it, it's really not that bad. I feel like this mascara is more or less making my lashes look longer, but not like as thick. You know what I mean? Okay, so this eye turned out really, really nice. I really like how that looks. So here's what two coats looks like um, of the mascara, and I'm gonna do one more just to see um, if we can get away with doing three. But yeah, here's just what the one coat looks like. Or two coats, sorry. Okay, and then here is what three coats looks like of the mascara on the eyes. I'm gonna clean out my eyelids in just a second, but um, holy crap, wow, look at that. That's crazy. My eyes look like doll eyes. Like, I wouldn't say they look like the packaging. Yeah, I don't think they look like the packaging because it looks like she's wearing falsies there. But regardless, they look super full and they look like doll eyes. Like, that is insane. So here's what three coats of the mascara looks like. Um, depending on what your personal preference is, this may be um, clumpy to you, but for me, this is perfect. Like, I love this look. So three coats is perfect for this mascara for me. I'm not gonna try to do another one because I feel like that's just gonna get a little too insane, but um, yeah, here is what the mascara looks like. Really, really happy with this. The one thing I hate about this mascara, it stinks. I don't like the smell of this mascara at all. It smells like Play-Doh and Porter Potty. Like, <laughs> it's very hard to explain, but 
yeah, I just don't like the smell at all. So that's my only complaint about this mascara. I'm gonna clean up my eyelids and then we're gonna move on to the final two Physicians formula products. Okay, so there's my eyelashes from afar for those of you who are wondering what they look like. Um, I cleaned up as best as I could, but my lashes are still kind of wet, so I'm going to wait for those to um, completely dry before I wipe everything away. I don't want to mess anything up. So now what we're going to do next is the bronzer. And this is, like I said, all Physicians Formula stuff. And this one is the... Uh, City Glow. Okay, so here's what this packaging looks like. Um, the inside is absolutely gorgeous and it has kind of like a matte black packaging. So it's really, really soft. Kind of looks like Bare Minerals packaging. Just really kind of matte and soft. And then when you open it up, here's what the bronzer looks like. So it's really, really, really beautifully detailed. It says Paris right here and then it's got like the Eiffel Tower and things like that. And then when you lift it up, you have a mirror and a brush as well. I'm actually going to use the brush today, just because why not? Um, and I'm just going to be bronzing up my face. What I'm noticing with this is um, the little buildings that are right here. You can see that they're shimmery. I don't really want a shimmery bronzer, so I'm just going to go right down here into this part of it. And I'm just going to be bronzing up my face. And right away, I don't really like this brush for bronzing. So I'm just going to put that down. And I'm just going to grab my usual bronzing brush, which um, is this one right here. So take a little bit of that and just bronze my face. I feel like this brush would be better for contouring and not bronzing. Because it's a little more stiff and it doesn't move as nicely on my face. I'm just going to take that up into my temples as well. It's not too orange, but it is a little bit orangey, so just be um, aware of that. And I'm gonna go up here actually a little bit. And the buildings are like super, oh, I see. Okay, the glitter is literally coming off right away. Okay, that's better. I thought it was just like a glittery bronzer. That was gonna be really, really strange. So it bronzes really, really nicely. I'm not really having any difficulties putting this over top of the foundation because when I applied my concealer, it took a long time for me to blend out um, over top of the foundation. But the bronzer looks really nice. Um, I look really, really bronze. I really, really like this actually. Okay, so here is how the bronzer looks on my face. I actually really, really like it. Uh, let me just snap a picture really quick because I want to see how it looks. So it looks really nice on camera as well. So I like that a lot. Now we're going to move on to the final product that we have, which is the Nude Wear Physicians Formula um, Illuminating Quad. So it has a highlighter, blush, powder, and a bronzer as well. Again, here's what the packaging looks like. How freaking adorable is that? You open it up here and you have all of your shades. And then when you open it up in the back, you have a brush and then a mirror. So that's really, really cute. Love this packaging as well. These look, would look so cute on a vanity. Love it. So I think what I'm going to do, because I already did the bronzer and the powder, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the blush and the highlighter. Um, so I'm just going to take... I'm going to take my e.l.f. small stipple brush and I'm going to be putting that into the blush. Tap off the excess. Okay, so it's just a really nice kind of pink. And I'm just putting that right on the apples of my cheek. So right above the bronzer and contour. Okay, so it's a really, really nice baby pink color. I don't really own anything like it. So it's really pretty. Um, that's all I'm going to do for now. And then again, I'm just going to take my big kind of fluffy brush right here with nothing on it. And I'm just going to kind of blend, blend all of it in together like this. Okay, so here's what the bronzer and the blush looks like. The blush looks like it has a little bit of a illuminator in it. So it kind of looks like I already have highlight on. But for the sake of this video, I really want to try the highlighter. So I'm just going to be taking this little tiny fan brush and I'm just going to be putting the highlighter right here in this area of my face where I want it to highlight. And then maybe a little bit up here and on my cupid's bow as well because that's where you would usually put highlights. So I'm just taking a little bit of this. Ooh. 
wow, the highlighter is super, super strong. Holy crap. So, yeah, really, really good pigmentation. Do you guys see this? Look at that. Wow, this highlighter is insane. So I'm just going to kind of tone that down a little bit. So yeah, you definitely do not need a lot. And then on my Cupid's bow. tried out every single new Physicians Formula product that I have today. Um, the only complaint about the mascara is that it kind of stinks. Um, I don't really like the smell of it. The bronzer is amazing. I look super tan. The highlighter and blush is phenomenal and so far I'm pretty okay with the foundation. Like usually I don't like dewy foundations but this one's okay so far. I'll have to put in the description box how it was going throughout the day with it because that'll be interesting to see how my oil handles this foundation. But yeah, I'm super, super impressed with everything. Um, thank you, Chance, for spoiling me. I don't even know why you did that, but thanks. Um, I really liked everything and I'm happy to have them in my collection. So if you guys are interested in any of these products, you can find them wherever Physicians Formula is sold, either at Walmart, um, CVS, Walgreens, things like that. You will be able to find them because they are in fact a drugstore brand. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a huge, huge thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these and let me know what, you pro what product you liked the best on me. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.